Yo, what's up, you guys? It's your boy Tachi. Today we're gonna be raiding uh, Taylor, Tyler, the creator. I don't know. What I was gonna say T uh, Tyler, Taylor. I don't know why I was gonna say that. But we're gonna be raiding Tyler, the creator's albums. Um, from from my personal opinion, not by you know everyone else's. Um, if you have your opinion on what's your favorite album of Tyler, the creator, you have your favorite. You know, you have your opinion. You feel me? Like, okay. So, but let's get into it. The first one we have is the um the well known the first ever the thing that kickstarted his career bastard I don't know if I can say that but if I can't I'm gonna beep it out um is bastard um bastard is what kickstarted everything it's what made Tyler who Tyler is it tells you a story of um how his father it tells you a story about everything and also too, it's a little bit dark it and tyler didn't want it to be this oh this the, you know this giggly thing he wanted it to be dark and i love that about him he wanted to be he wanted the album to be something so he made it exactly that he did not hold back so that out this album gets a 10 out of 10. go to the next one The next one we have is Wolf. Now, this is the, the next um, thing in the series um, of, you know, the Tyler album. Uh, Wolf is very happy, very instrumental, very, it has, it's like very like uplifting, but then it's got its dark moments. It's got its dark moments, but then yet again, it's, it's good. The music is phenomenal, but you know, it's Tyler the Creator. What do you expect? And all his music is good. I'll give that, um, I'll give Wolf uh, an 8 out of 10. Let's go to the next one. And the next one, um, because I'm doing this by series, because there's a series that goes with it, because the story connects with between Bastard, Wolf, and um, the other ones. The next one, I believe, is Goblin. Goblin is when Tyler, um, you know, you know, starts to rap. It's it's as as the other last two it has its dark moments but then in the goblin series he starts talking about his uh his dead grandmother well actually that's a lie um in wolf i think there is a part in one of the songs in wolf where he starts talking a little bit about his grandma dying but he doesn't say it like say that she died and then in goblin with the therapist dr tc um he you know makes a whole song about what um he saw how he saw his mother die no not his mother his grandmother die and he was in the hospital and it's just and when i heard that song it just almost made me cry so the creativity and the way he did it and the way he explained it I have to give it a 10 out of 10 for remembrance you know rest in peace tyler's grandmother now after goblin you have cherry bomb there's um you know there's a lot of people that are going to be like oh why do you like cherry bomb because some people like cherry bomb and then there's people that hate it and then there's people that absolutely are obsessed with it and love it me personally i love it because i just i i, I listen to music eight hours a day as i've told you guys before um i know i have an obsession um and I listened, I've listened to the Cherry Bomb. I didn't listen to it for the longest time because of people saying that it was bad. But then, yet again, Tyler said that it was one, mo his most favorite, his favorite album that he created because he just had f freedom. He had freedom to do whatever he wanted with the album because after the three albums that he made, you know, he had freedom, you know what I mean? So, excuse me. After all that, the instrumentals are good. The, um, you know, the music is good. It's, it's crazy and everything like that. And, it, you know, it, it, like if you want to get excited, if you want to get your adrenaline pumping, Cherry Bomb is the, is the um, album to go. I give that a 9 out of 10. All right, here comes, here comes the good ones. Here comes the ones, the three that everyone knows him for, um, knows um, Tyler the Creator for in this generation. Now, the next one after Cherry Bomb, and as I believe, is Igor. Igor, he becomes some kind of Michael Jackson like type of person, but then he starts talking about his love life and he talks about, you know, how he wants this person and but he can't have it. But then it gets he comes back to like this dark person that he used to be, but it's not as dark as all the other ones. But you know, he kind of like brings it, you know, brings a little pinch, a little sparkle 
you know, a little pinch of salt of that darkness from all his three other past, um, his other three past, um, albums that he did. Igor, um, New Magic Wand, and every, and, um, My New Magic Wand, and, um, Earthquake is one of his most popular songs. Me, personally, I love Earthquake, Boy is a Gun, um, you know, there's a whole bunch of songs in the album, I just don't like the two, you know what I mean, I, you know, I hate people that are like, oh, I love New Magic Wand, and I love these, these two, but don't, you know, listen to the full album, but Igor will get a 10 out of 10. The next one we got after Igor is Flower Boy, I believe, after, is Flower Boy, it talks about, um, you know, um, his sexuality, he starts talking about, um, you know, after the whole love life, uh, you know, his love interest and, in, um, you know, his love, his love life in Goblin, he comes and he's like, and he tells about his sexuality, what, you know, you know, what he likes, I'm not gonna get too specific because, um, you know, there, I have children that watch my, my videos, but, um, you know, it just goes through a whole thing about how lonely he is, and then, um, you know, it talks about how lonely he is, and how, and it still talks about his love, um, his love life a little bit, but it's not, and there are some songs in the, in the, um, in the album that people actually told, asked Tyler if he was okay, like, 911, that's a song that people asked Tyler if he was okay, because it's such a, like, a depressing song, but then yet, it's so, it's so true, it's so true, so I'll give, you know, Flower Boy, an 8 out of 10, you know, I do like, um, See You Again, though, See You Again, and, uh, there's another one, the last one, until Tyler brings out his next album, is, you guessed it, you guys, Call Me If You Get Lost, Call Me If You Get Lost, is, he talks about, um, the success, how much success he has, he talks about, um, you know, he's got these cars and whatever, but it's not brag, it's bragging, but then, yet, it's, like, motivation for the, for the younger generation, like, he tells people, hey, you can, you can do it, you can, but, if you, but just believe in yourself, you can do anything, and, but then, he, he, he brings back rap, but it's not, like, he brags about money and stuff like that, he brags about, oh, I, I ate, you know, a Danish, or, oh, I, I ate, I ate at this fancy restaurant, and I ate all these cakes, you know what I mean, um, he, he brags like that, not like, um, oh, I jumped into a car and I have five million dollars in the back of my seat, no, that's, that's not what he does, and I absolutely love that about the call me if you get lost, it does have, um, his love interest again, he does bring back the love interest like Igor, um, Igor did, and Flower Boy, he brings those together, in my opinion, he brings those together and squash it, and then brings us, um, call me if you get lost, but then call me if you get lost is very, it has a DJ guy, uh, DJ drama in the background, it always, like, narrates in the background before a song, or between while, before he starts singing, which I absolutely love, um, I watch interviews with Tyler, the creator, and he's friends with DJ drama, and he's explained and said that he loves when people explain what they're doing, he loves when people say, oh, I went to a, I got to my, specific car like maybe my mercedes benz i drove to starbucks to get me a cake pop that's what he loves people to hear and he loves hearing people say that he loves that energy but guys that is my opinion on all the tyler the creator albums if you guys like this video please have a like and subscribe to join our family join our channel more music content is coming on the way because you guys are, are like absolutely in love with my music content um and how much i i love music the weekend uh, leak song reaction video is getting love is it's getting a lot of love and i appreciate you to give it for you guys to give it love um i'm trying to work my hardest to bring videos out and there will be a net another reaction video for the weekend in maybe a couple days or in a week uh, i'm trying to like take it slow because with you guys supporting the um videos and stuff like that i'm getting more subscribers and you and as i said guys before you are not just subscribers you were family you're not just a number on a screen as a subscriber you were all family members to this channel and if i if you guys see me in public hey you're family you know come and dab me up just random just randomly bro i might be confused because i might be like huh or whatever but like dab me up bro like I, because you family okay but i'll see you guys in the next video peace